In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the spell checking package for your Jupyter Notebook. Um, so the first thing you want to do is create a new notebook, and then in your browser, go to calicoproject.org slash iCalico. Um, you can scroll down to the notebook extension section, uh, find the package that you want to install, in this case spell checking, and copy the command. And you can paste that into any code cell in our notebook and execute that cell, which will install the package into our system. Um, from there, there are two ways to uh, get this package to work in your notebook. So the first, so we can go back to the uh, notebook extensions page, and we can copy this block of code right here, which we will execute in any code cell. Um, make sure that you only have the package that you're installing in that list. So in our case, it's the spell check package. Um, and then we can execute that cell. And as you can see, we now have a new button for spell checking in our notebook. Um, this will only work for one notebook. So if you want to have this uh, available to all notebooks you create, um, I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing we need to do is to locate the IPython folder on your system. So you can run IPython in any code cell. You can run IPython locate. And that'll show you where the uh, folder is in your system. And from there, we need to edit a file within uh, this folder so we can run this notepad command. Um, copy your location. And then add the following to the end. So profile underscore default backslash static backslash custom backslash custom js.js and then run that and you should get a notepad that opens um, just go to a line at the very end and um, go back to this page with the notebook extensions and copy this command right here back into your notepad paste that command in make sure you only have the package that you want to install selected save your notebook or your notepad you can close that, and that's it. In order to see your spell checking package in every notebook, just restart the IPython notebook program.